what's up y'all it's vv welcome back to my channel i have a great video for you today it's a must-have kitchen essentials video you've been asking for it i wish i had it when i first started out as vegan it would have saved a lot of trips to the grocery store let's not waste any time let's get into it okay so the first category we're gonna get into is dry goods all right so here we go we have dry beans we have pasta, dry beans. I always have brown lentils. I love, love, love black lentils. And kidney beans, black beans, all this stuff you get at the farmer's market. You can see the pricing so cheap. I make a lot of soups with lentils. And most, my favorite is brown lentils because they don't fall apart. They give you like a good meaty taste when you're making soup. Also, my red lentils, I use a lot in my um, corn chowder. I put the red lentils in there. So I always make sure I have um, lentils on hand. And then you can just get bags of stuff. I get a lot of my stuff at TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls. So again, the pastas. This y'all is the best pasta ever. You can now get it at Publix. Uh, you can order it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. Uh, you can get it at Whole Foods. It is my favorite pasta. I've been a vegan for seven years. I've tried them all. This is the very, very best tasting pasta. And it's quinoa pasta. All right, next is our rices um, and quinoa. Also, fa farro. I got this at Aldi's. I love this in salad with some veggies. And organic brown rice. I love brown rice. And I also love white rice. The Trader Joe's frozen organic jasmine rice is awesome. So these are our dried goods. Make sure you have enough because you don't want to keep running out. Next thing we're going to go over is our canned goods. Now, this is Vivi's cabinet right here. And there are a lot of must-haves in this cabinet. When I think about my must-haves, this is a lot of my must-haves. So first, if you look up here, you'll see some beans, um, northern beans, butter beans, artichoke hearts, coconut milk. Coconut milk is a must have. When I'm making brown rice, I make it in coconut milk and it tastes delicious. Also, almond butter, must have. You gotta have it, it's in everything. I use it in my oatmeal, I use it in my salad dressings, I use it on toast, um, I use it a bunch. Almond milk, raw almond milk, um, Trey Joe's, and if you can see it, it says no salt. So that's an added plus on the no salt on the almond milk. All right, now we're gonna talk about tomatoes and pasta sauce. You always wanna have diced tomatoes on hand, tomato paste. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a minute. Tomato paste, I would always get it in the can, and then I would use it, some of it, and then I would end up throwing the can away. Well, guess what? Trader Joe's has tomato paste in a toothpaste container. So, toothpaste too. So, I always buy that now, and then I don't waste it. So, that's a good caveat. All right, this is pasta sauce. Of course, I make a lot of pasta. This is fat-free from Whole Foods. I love it. No oil. Perfect for me. Black beans, pinto beans, chickpeas, garbanzo beans. Must have. Chickpeas. Oh my gosh. Chickpea tuna. Um, I roast chickpeas, put them on my salad. You can make hummus with chickpeas. You gotta have chickpeas. It's gonna be in all my recipes. Well, it'll be in my recipes. You wanna have it. Must have. All right, these are just some um, things that I keep in my cabinet, like the adobo sauce, chipotles, and this salsa, because when I make salad, I want to put salsa in it. And then these are just extra spices. Over here, I just have pumpkin pie spice, just some spices that I use when I make pancakes. Vegan broth, gotta have it. This is my favorite brand. Um, dry. This is Orrington Farms 
vegetable. And then I have chicken and beef flavored broth. So those are our canned goods must-haves. Again, I'll have a list of the absolute must-haves in the description box. Now we're gonna get into some oils and some condiments. So over here are my oils and some of my condiments. My family is not all vegan. So I'm the vegan, my husband is not a vegan, so he likes what he likes and I try to make sure I have the things that he likes in my cabinet too. So you guys know that I don't use oil a lot. I'm mostly no oil, but I do use it every now and again. So we have the extra virgin olive oil, Evu. Then we have sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, must have for me. Um, and then we have our vinegars, we have Red wine, white, balsamic, must have, gotta have it. This company right here, Rocky Mountain Olive Oil Company, that is not olive oil, it's a balsamic vinegar. It's so good, I'll put it in the description box. They have um, so many different flavors of vinegars and oils, so if you use oil, you might wanna check them out. Um, then we have our condiments or sauces, and these are must-haves. You gotta have liquid aminos. You can get Bragg's liquid aminos. You gotta have tamari. Um, you gotta have some vegan Worcestershire sauce. I got this from um, Amazon, but they also have it at Whole Foods and it's vegan. And the reason why it's not vegan, if you get regular Worcestershire sauce, it has anchovies in it, so that's why it's not vegan. So these are without anchovies. Here's some more oil, sesame seed oil. I use that every now and again. Um, miso tamari, this is something, it's not a must have, I just like to have it because it has miso and tamari together. And these are just some sauces I use when I'm making sauces for like noodle bowls or vegetable bowls with rice. These are some great sauces to have. Um, we're gonna go over to my refrigerator because I have some sauces in there that I wanna show you guys. Uh, let's see, yeah, like over here. And the, we're getting more into the condiments. Um, sriracha, gotta have it. You gotta have sriracha in your kitchen. These are coconut secrets. These are some aminos, right? Lit coconut aminos, they're garlic sauce. Um, I have teriyaki sauce. Get these on Amazon or Whole Foods. They make your food taste so good. You want your food to taste good. I'm all about it. So liquid smoke, must have, must have, must have. And there's all different kinds. There's pecan, there's apple. This is so good. I use the pecan in a cheese sauce that you'll get to see me make. But you definitely wanna have liquid smoke. You also wanna have mustards, must have. Stone ground and Dijon mustard. You don't wanna have to run out for these. You wanna have those. And this is something I've shared with you guys before. Um, umeboshi vinegar, this is great. It's a salt substitute, it's very salty, so you only need a teeny bit. I put it on my bok choy, on my greens when I'm making them. It's just really good to have. Uh, next thing, while we're in the refrigerator, um, let's just look at this butter. I don't like to use this stuff, but sometimes I do. When I make breakfast sometimes, this is the best, the best butter, vegan butter. It's a little pricey, y'all, but it's really, really, really good. Um, and it's just a hint of sea salt. Miyoko's Creamy Butter, you can get it anywhere. Um, over here, these are my nuts and seeds. Definitely, definitely have them. I put them in the refrigerator because they last longer. So we have hemp hearts, walnuts, chia seeds. I use hemp hearts in my smoothies, in my salads, in my salad dressings, um, in my oatmeal. This is such a good healthy fat. If you can get this in your diet every day, like a teaspoon or a tablespoon, it's really good. Also, walnuts, of course, chia seeds, 
chia seeds are good when you're making puddings or something you want gooey you sit it in some water and it gets like um gooey gummy um unsalted peanuts we got cashew okay let me stop hold up wait a minute cashew nuts a must you gotta have them all the time because cashews are used for sauces, creamy sauces, like cheese and um, salad dressings, and you soak them for two to four hours or overnight, or you can boil them to get them soft and you blend them up. Must have cashew nuts, raw, unsalted. And a caveat here, Trader Joe's has the best nuts and they're the least expensive of any store anywhere. So get your nuts at Trader Joe's. Um, I also have flax meal, um, pumpkin seeds, another must have. Use it in your oatmeal, your salads, you can toast them. Seeds are so good. And then of course, sunflower seeds. So just get you a bunch of seeds so you can have them. Put them in your mason jars and just throw them in the fridge. Let's see, I have walnuts in here. I said flax seed, cashews. Um, another thing you should always have, tahini. You cannot not have tahini. Go out and get some right now. Trader Joe's has great tahini. Um, this is my favorite. I'll put it in the description box. Again, a teeny bit pricey, but it tastes so good. It's so worth it. You won't even think about what you're spending because you're gonna love it. But you gotta have tahini. I, I use it in a lot of stuff. My salad dressings, um, any type of sauces. It's just sesame seeds. That's what tahini is. 100% roasted and pressed sesame seed. Also, you this is another one of my must-haves. It's called Sambao Ulik. I'll put it in the description box. This is hot. It adds such a good flavor to your soups. I use this in my peanut nutty salad dressing. It's amazing. And any of my friends know, Sambal Uli, they have it in their refrigerator. So you wanna get that. Red curry paste, not a must have, but it's in some recipes. So you can just get a little jar, put it in your um, cabinet until you use it. Must have, Bubby's Pickles. Must have, keep pickles in your refrigerator. I eat them a lot when I make sandwiches, tempeh sandwiches, um, lettuce, tomato, onion sandwich, pickles. My chickpea tuna, and then of course I love sauerkraut on my salad. It's not a must have. Um, okay, let's get into this right here. These are must have. Tempeh, make sure you have tempeh in your refrigerator. This is smoky bacon and original tempeh. These are used for my tempeh sandwiches. I love them, I'll be making those real soon. You can use them as bacon. They're a great source of fiber and protein. This is 18 grams of protein per serving. Don't let people say, where's your protein? That's what everybody says. It's in there. All right, and then here are some of my vegan Favorite, all-time favorite cheeses, voila, is the bomb. I love Trader Joe's mozzarella style cheese. Um, this is almond, it's a cheese alternative. I love chow, great, great, great. Then I have field roast sausages, always have them on hand for spaghettis. You know, you just crumble them up and make it like hamburger. You want to have, I don't know where it is, must be in the other refrigerator, but tofu. We finished with some of the meaty vegan um, items. Another must have is dates. Make sure you have dates. Dates, I put them in um, smoothies just to make it a little bit sweeter. You don't want to use these a lot, but I use them in place of like stevia or anything like that. This is just natural sugar. I love dates. Of course, must-haves, y'all, must-haves. Make sure you have ginger all the time. I make use ginger in my salad dressings, in my smoothies, in my juices. Every time I make a smoothie, 99% of the time I'm putting ginger in it, even if it doesn't call for it. You wanna have that. You wanna have turmeric. You can just get them um, fresh from the farmer's market or Kroger, or you can buy 
a little container like this. Always, always have tons and tons of lemons and limes. You're gonna use them all the time. So now we're gonna look at flowers and our super, super, super powders. Okay, so over here, this is um, PMB peanut, dry peanut. So when I don't wanna use peanut butter, I'll use this in my smoothies, in my salad dressings, whatever I'm making up, I use this. It's less, way less fattening than the almond butter, and I'll use that. Of course, then you got whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour. You gotta have tapioca and arrowroot starch. Then we have panko breadcrumbs, must have. These are all extra right here, almond flour, garbanzo beans, which is chickpea flour. You can see I've used it, but you wanna have it. Just buy it and have it, because you're gonna use it at some point. Okay, nutritional yeast. Must, 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 must have. You are gonna use this all the time. You can do Bragg's nutritional yeast. I like to go to the farmer's market. They have it in bulk. It's much cheaper. It's delicious. Make sure you have nutrition, nutritional yeast, AKA nooch. If you ever hear anybody say nooch, it's nutritional yeast. It's cheesy. It's got vitamin B12 in it. It's so good for you and it makes all your meals cheesy. So when I do um, tofu eggs, I use nutritional yeast. When I make salad dressings, I use nutritional yeast. When I make um, spaghetti sauces, I use nutritional yeast. It's a must have. All right, last thing over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go down here. Um, this is Joy, and they are not paying me. I ain't there yet, y'all. But this is almond paste, okay? And then they have cashew paste. So I would buy almond milk all the time and then I would open the carton and I wouldn't use it all and guess what happened? I would pour it down the sink. With this, you just use a couple of tablespoons and some filtered water and you make your own almond milk so you can make it. I just bought this, I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna be finishing my oat milk in there and then I'm gonna start making my own almond milk and stop wasting it and I'll make it as much as I wanna make it. So check this out. I'll put the, the link in the description box. Now we're gonna look at the super powders, okay? Man, spirulina, you gotta have it. It was in the salad in my first video that I made. Spirulina is a super powder. It's a source of protein and iron, you wanna have it. Moringa, superfood powder, you can use it in um, smoothies. That's what I use it in. This is very strong but it is so powerful. It is one of the most powerful powders in the world and it's made from the moringa fruit. So you definitely wanna have that in your arsenal when you're making your smoothies. It'll give you energy like crazy. I picked these up at um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. This is the stuff, like y'all. You wanna go in that section. Rishi Mushroom Immunity Organic Superfood Blend. You can put this stuff in your smoothies. And then of course, my oats that I definitely, you gotta have oatmeal, rolled oats. Make sure it's rolled oats. Then I have some um, red lentil spaghetti. Um, that's my spaghetti. It's brown rice spaghetti. And then this is my hubby's. Honey, I gotta fill that up. All right, so that's our powdered section. So we've looked at the powders, the super powders, and I forgot to show y'all the sweeteners. The sweeteners are, of course, you always wanna have maple syrup, 100% pure maple syrup. Make sure you have that. You wanna make sure you have honey in your arsenal. That's a must have. I always have date syrup. Again, just some syrups that I have. This is a must have for me. Um, this is something that I found at TJ Maxx. Cayenne date nectar. I use it in salad dressing. So good, it's hot, but it's so good, it adds a pop. Again, just a really good find at um, TJ Maxx. 
So those are the syrups. You definitely, definitely want to have agave um, nectar in your cabinets. It's in the other cabinet. This is another thing that should have probably been with my powders, but I just got this protein smoothie powder from Simple Green Smoothies. Jen, shout out to you. I am excited about this because there's so many protein powders out there that are not good for you. And if you just Google vegan protein powders, you'll see the issues. But this right here is phenomenal. So just go to Simple Green Smoothie. I'll put the link in the description box below. Now we're gonna look at greens and mushrooms. These are my must-haves. I use them every week. Every week, must-haves. Let's go check it out. So we're at the end of this must-have journey. When I first became a vegan, after a month, I knew I needed another refrigerator. There was no way I was gonna have everything in one refrigerator. So my husband lovingly went and got me this refrigerator. And so this is where I do my, a lot of my perishable. All right, so my greens are in here. Here's my kale. I have the curly kale and then my dinosaur kale. Always, those are a must have. I put kale um, in my oatmeal, of course smoothies, salads, collard greens, red, red kale. Of course, I have my bok choy. This is a must have for me. I eat bok, cho bok choy probably two to three times a week for breakfast or just a whole bowl when, I'm, when I just want to snack on them. I love them. It's a must have for me. Peppers, must have. Avocados, must have. Okay, I have my grapefruit and oranges every week, must have. And of course, you have to have to have apples. My favorite are honey crisp apples. Uh, my gems of the gems of the gems are mushrooms. Okay, so I use them all the time. Here we have Baby Bella, we have shiitake. Um, these are the maitake mushrooms. I'm gonna make a dish with these. OMVB. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I gotta make that. And then my my favorite, favorite, favorite mushrooms of all time is my oyster mushrooms. So I always have these because when I bake them, I use them on burgers, I use them in my salads. So good. Another must have, must have is potatoes. You gotta have these. Potatoes are phenomenal. I always get yellow, red, definitely Japanese sweet potatoes, um, regular sweet potatoes, and then I love to buy these little petite potatoes in the bag, the mixed ones, and then I just throw them in the air fryer and make potatoes. They're phenomenal. Of course, gotta have your bananas, but definitely potatoes must have for Vivi. Okay, y'all, so the last thing we're gonna look at is seasonings. You cannot be a vegan, or you cannot be a cook without seasonings, but especially when you're doing vegan cooking, I want my food to taste good. So I use all kinds of different seasonings, and this is my seasoning drawer. You've got Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company. This is one of my favorite. Um, everything but the leftovers, onion salt. Then this company right here I discovered, it's called Local Spicery. Amazing, this is just four. They have tons. Check them out. This stuff is so good. And they always send you sample packets for you to try. Organic Bragg's must have. Gotta have this, must have. Um, 21 seasoning salute, must have, get it. Um, everything but the bagel, sesame seasoning, get it. Trader Joe's, must have. Uh, let's see, of course basil, oregano, thyme. Oh, this is a must have, if you can get it. It's seasonal at Trader Joe's, but mine is almost gone. So good, soups, really, really good. Um, this is good, Vicky. Vegan chickenless seasoning, Trader Joe's. 
Uh, let's see. So this is again my seasoning drawer with my other seasonings. Here's that liquid smoke that I told you comes in different flavors. Here's the apple one. Um, you definitely, definitely, definitely got to have turmeric. Um, just powdered turmeric is powerful. Have cayenne pepper, a must. Make sure you have cayenne pepper. Of course, pink Himalayan salt. Um, okay, guys. This right here, black salt, a must. You gotta have this. This stuff smells like eggs. It's gonna give you an egg flavor. So when you make tofu scramble, you wanna put this black salt on it. It's so delicious. And it smells like eggs and it gives you the taste of eggs. Wonderful. You definitely, definitely another must have is paprika make sure you have smoked paprika sweet spanish regular again look at that guess where it's from tj maxx i always find stuff at tj maxx this is spanish hot smoked paprika tj maxx always find stuff there you want to make sure you have sea salt this is celtic sea salt i always make sure i have that I make sure I have some kosher salt as well. And then of course the Himalayan pink salt. Um, and I think that's it guys. So get ready to go shop, make your list before you shop. Write down what you already have. That's a mistake I did. And I have like double and triple of things in my cabinet. So you don't wanna do that. Make a list of what you already have and then go out and get what you need and stock your cabinet. Okay, y'all, I hope these must-haves and taking a tour through my kitchen helped you out tremendously. Go out, get what you need. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video with as many friends and family that you want to. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. And listen, you can visit me at Facebook, Victorious Vegan Gen 129, or my personal page, Leanna Jackson. And you can catch me on Instagram under Victorious Vegan Gen 129. Thanks for popping by. This is Victorious Vegan.